Yo, what's going on crew? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the RCA Reno Max, which is a pretty low price budget device coming in at $98 that you can pick up right now, marked down from the $109.99. And this is a seriously budget, low price device that I think if you're looking to save a lot of money, it's gonna offer you pretty much some pretty good features on this device, because we're getting the Android 12, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, you know, um, some 16 megapixel camera, as well as a macro and a portrait camera as well on the back of here. And it's gonna be packing some pretty basic features is unlocked so you can use it for metro by t-mobile or t-mobile but just keep in mind that it does um, not let you use it on the new at&t and new cricket so i just kind of want to throw that out there as well as verizon and boost okay but make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video because we're going to be talking about the camera quality on this device as well as the battery life as well as the performance and a whole lot more but I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing and getting notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. guys so the first thing i want to talk about is the overall build quality for this device which is the rca but in the unboxing experience you're going to get some pretty decent things that come with it you're going to get a tpu case you're going to get the headphones the charging brick as well it's which are included and so i think the unboxing experience is going to be pretty straightforward so the rca reno max does pack a lot of things inside of the box included it does give you a radio dual sims android 12 4000 milliamp battery flashlight 6.5 inch display 16 megapixel camera and 4g lte now it does come with a clear case which is good because there's not going to be many cases that you could pick up online and the case does have bumper protection on the edges which i think is pretty solid also going to get the user manual um, you know all your pamphlets inside of here when it comes to the unboxing experience, it has a screen protector on it right out of the box. You also get your headphones, your pamphlets, your SIM remover tool, your wall brick, and your charging type C cable, all right? Now, as far as the overall build quality, it's gonna give you this pretty decent texture on the back, which is gonna be pretty nice for grip, but just keep in mind, it will gather oils as you can see, and it, you could just buy a alcohol prep pad from the dollar store to actually clean off the device from time to time if that's the thing if it's going to drive you crazy when it comes to looking at the you know um fingerprints this thing will clean it as well as the cameras so i definitely think that the texture on the back is pretty solid i'm just going to go ahead and wipe that off and now you can see all the fingerprints and all the smudges will go away after using the alcohol pad which is going to be pretty cool for cleaning it and i think that the cameras look really good 16 megapixel around back with uh, 2 megapixel for macro 2 megapixel for portraits so if you're the type of person who wants to take some pretty decent shots for social media the cameras are going to be pretty decent on here um nothing that you could use professionally but honestly think that this look and aesthetic on the design um, from the back of here looks really solid when it comes to how they um, design this phone with the matte back texture and the camera setup. So when you put it on a flat sur surface, it's gonna rock a little bit because the cameras aren't flush into the device. They kind of stick out a little bit. So I just kind of want to throw that out there. Then you get the RCA logo around back, as you can see right here. And overall, it's gonna give you a premium design. So when people see this, they're not gonna think it's a cheap phone just because the design just looks really solid. You get a pretty flat edge on the sides, which feels like it's metal, but just keep in mind, it may be like a hard plastic material, um, but it does resemble metal. When I look at it on the side right here, you're gonna get your SIM card remover um, slot right here. And there we go and so when it comes to the dual you're gonna get dual sims and an sd card slot 
for this thing. So you can put two SIMs in here and use it with two different carriers as well. You also get a type C for charging, a mono speaker, you know, a microphone at the bottom, a headphone jack at the top, which I think is pretty cool. And on this side, it's obviously gonna have your SIM remover slot, your side mounted fingerprint sensor right here, as well as your volume rockers on the right hand side. So let's just jump into the overall display of this device and let me know what you think about it. We're gonna jump into it right now, okay? Now when it comes to the display on the RCA Reno Max, it's definitely gonna give you a really decent panel. They actually claim on the website on Amazon that this display has a you know brightness boost display and it's going to be pretty solid when it comes to looking at it when it's at full brightness because you're going to be able to see it with no issues whatsoever and so you know it looks really good i'm gonna let you guys hear how it sounds when you're listening to movies and kind of messing around with the overall display on this thing most of the time you can get 1080 videos on here at um and 720 by 60 frames per second are you man enough to fight with me anyone who opposes me will be destroyed come on you can't oh yes i can just take the hostages out if i'm not topside in 15 minutes evacuate without me <laughs> And so when it comes to watching movies or just any media, the colors do look really good. You can get some pretty decent viewing angles as you can see right here on the display with the boosted um, colors and overall pixels. Um, you know, and I'm gonna give you a spec sheet with Geekbench in just a second so you can kind of see the different specifications that you'll get. But honestly, I think this panel for the price looks really good. And if this you're going to get this for yourself or maybe a kid for Valentine's Day. All right, guys, so let me know what you thought about the display. But right now we're going to be jumping into the cameras on this smartphone. And I'm going to be showing you some samples and pictures of the 16 megapixel shooter on the rear. OK. Let's talk about the overall software experience on this device right now, but make sure you guys stay locked in, okay? Now, as far as the overall software experience goes on this device, it's actually really impressive. Um, one thing I noticed is that when you launch apps, they do open up pretty quickly. You can also lock apps or do split screen, which is actually gonna be pretty fast and snappy with the four gigabytes of RAM on here. So you could multitask between two different applications. And you can also turn on the mode where it lets you actually do auto rotate. So you wanna turn that on if you want the device to rotate in your hand when you're using it in a sideways fashion. And it has the same exact layout of the Google Pixel devices and the Moto um, G Pure when it comes to browsing on social media. You can make these panel go halfway on landscape mode but if you wanted to actually do multitasking on here in portrait mode you can long press and you can get three quarters 
um, screen right here when you drag up so you can actually get three quarters but when you're using it in landscape mode you won't be able to do that it also does have a one-handed mode when you swipe down so that you can use the device with one hand and kind of just see use the, the bottom half of the display to browse through social media and i definitely think it's going to be pretty solid when it comes to the overall experience of the software when you're using it um, overall so it's going to give you some pretty stock android experience on here you can see right here i i really do like the fact that it has all the, the widgets that you can use on here different wallpapers you can see it gives you the icon when you launch apps but it has some wallpapers built in but i actually use the um wall candy or whatever app to get my wallpapers on this device so as far as you get fm radio you get you know um your basic app you can get your smart controls as well smart wake double tap anywhere to make the screen turn on smart motion which will allow you to basically pick up the device when it's when you're receiving a phone call and it can answer it uh, pocket mode you know um, touch disabling so when it's in your pocket you won't do any miss touches power savings mode when you turn on wi-fi um, so a lot of cool features are available on this device it's also running android 12 out of the box as far as storage i do have all my apps on here and so you can see you can pretty much launch put a lot of games on this device um, it has pretty good network speed with the 4g lte vpns are available as well wi-fi calling is going to also be included and so i think this is going to be a pretty stock android experience when it comes to the software so do me a quick solid if you're enjoying the video i truly appreciate you for kicking it with me this far i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help boost the algorithm okay but if you're still here just type in the comment section down below I'm still here so I know you're still kicking it with me so let's talk about the overall battery and charging speeds on this device it does have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage but it's going to give you um, some pretty basic charging speeds when it comes to this thing it does have fit, um, charging up to I believe 15 between 10 and 15 watts fast charging so let's talk about that right now. Decent battery is gonna be included, ultra savings mode, um, you know, app optimizer, standby optimizer, which will allow you to tailor certain apps as well, make it power intensive, you can see right there. Um, you also can see right here, you get app launch, auto launch management. So it'll allow you to basically, um, you know, don't allow the app to auto launch to help save battery on this thing so that's a pretty cool feature so when it comes to the rca reno max as far as the charging speeds it's going to give you about 15 watts fast charging and i'm using my 25 watt charger right now and it says right here that it's charging right down below so it's going to give you it's not going to give you like rapid or super fast charging you can see right here so it's like slow charging with a fast charger but I did notice that the charging speeds were pretty decent. It could be about an hour and 20 minutes to completely charge the device. So I definitely think the battery is going to be pretty decent when it comes to the Reno Max, okay? The next thing I want to talk about is the gaming performance on the RCA Reno Max right now, okay? And when it comes to using the Reno Max for gaming, I did a Geekbench test on this device just to see what chipset it was using because there's not too much information on the internet. So what I wanted to do was show you that Geekbench scores on here when we're actually using this device. And so let me just go into the Geekbench test right now so you guys can see right now what the scores are. And it's actually you know not the best in the entire world. But if you go right here into history, it gives you a single core score of 125, a multi-core score of 612. You can see that it's running on Android 12, Linux 5.4, and it has that Arch 64 kernel with the um, you know the scores here. 
and it does say that it is an ARM Unosoc processing chip. So it's not going to be the craziest when it comes to the power of it with compared to a Snapdragon or the, some of the MediaTek devices. But one of the things I did notice is that it, with the four gigabytes of RAM, it was able to pretty much run through different um, games pretty well. So let's test out PUBG right now. I also did notice that it was running on smooth and medium graphics. So you can't get anything higher than that. Quick gaming, I got the volume up halfway. I'm able to hear it pretty good. You can see that some of the frames are dropping, which I don't like when I'm using this device. I did play Bomberman on here, and I did notice that it does hold up pretty well when it comes to the graphics. So you can definitely play some light games on here, no issues whatsoever. And so I definitely think for games like this, like Survivor IO, this device does perform pretty well. It, there wasn't any lag when I was using this game. And so I definitely think it's gonna be a solid device um, for this game, light games such as this, which don't require too much graphics and stuff like that because it's gonna run really smoothly overall. And so I definitely enjoyed using it when it came to, you know, light game and performance and things like that but i do like that it does have a fingerprint sensor on the side facial recognition for unlocking it as well but here's a quick sound test of the rca reno max so let me know how the sound sample comes out in this video all right So I definitely thought that the Reno RCA Max did have some pretty decent sound, but it's just going to be a little bit tinny with the mono speaker on the bottom. And as far as the overall sound experience when you're listening to it, it's going to be, you're going to be able to hear the other person without any issues, but just keep in mind, it's not going to have anything that's going to boost the sound and it's going to be a little bit hollow when it comes to listening to this thing. But for 2023, the RCA Reno Max is gonna be a good option if you have like a kid or if you're just trying to save a whole lot of money and you're not, you don't really use a smartphone other than calling, texting, browsing the web and shopping. I definitely think the Reno, you know, re, um, the RCA Reno Max would be a good option, but uh, I truly appreciate you for staying locked into the end of the video. Follow me on social media, watch the video on the left or the right corner, and I'm gonna get right back with you. Later, crew. Peace.